Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're doing a great install, the Apex Performance Auto Links. These are gonna replace the uh, end links on the Gladiator. Uh, they're more like a shock than an end link and they are basically an alternative to having a quick disconnect in your uh, end links, your sway bar. Uh, so let's jump right in and show you what this thing's about. Pending aircraft grade stainless steel heat treated 1045 case hardened steel uh, rotatable bushings a lockable knob uh, again so this is a uh, adjustable um, end link instead of a quick disconnect for your sway bar hard anodized uh, thousand hour salt uh, shaft to it um, serviceable the whole nine. Uh, I think that I may be pretty impressed with these. Some people have been skeptical. Again, Apex Performance Products. Instruction manual tells you how to do it. And these are adjustable based on the length of your end links. So we'll pop off an end link, measure it eyelet to eyelet or uh, bushing to bushing center, and then uh, make our adjustments for how long it needs to be. Everything, again, is very clean, very detailed. Uh, these, This is super simple for you to do at your house. Uh, you don't really need any tools uh, besides basic hand tools and um, maybe a vise to hold it in place, but you don't even have to have that. So let's jump right into it. Really nice powder coating on these. Comes with some uh, blue Loctite and then uh, your mounting nuts and washers. So let's go ahead and pop off these end links and then get to the next step. What we're going to do is remove this tire and wheel so that we have a very clear view of what we're doing in here on this end link. So for this bottom bolt, we need an 18 millimeter socket. To get this top end of this end link off, you're gonna need uh, a six millimeter Allen key and a 19 millimeter uh, ratchet or uh, wrench, box wrench, so that you're able to um, reverse them uh, against each other so that it'll loosen up because one, one pulls against the other. You can pull your end link out and then we'll measure um, from center point to center point on uh, this end link. We have the Apex Auto Links unpackaged. This is a longer TerraFlex end link that came with my three and a half inch lift. It doesn't have a quick disconnect capability to it. Now TerraFlex makes a quick disconnect kit and that quick disconnect kit is an eight and a half inch uh, end link center to center. This one right here is uh, 11 and a half center to center and that's gonna be a little bit too long for uh, what we need it for. Again, that's allowing for more articulation. We don't really need that because that's what this is for. So this Auto Links comes shipped at what looks like a nine inch, uh, yeah, so it's nine inch from center hole to um, the locking ring or the snap ring. And what we're gonna do is slide this cylinder down over this snap ring and then we're gonna remove this nut, unscrew it, blue Loctite it, bring down this snap ring all the way to uh, this point right here. As you can see, so there's a point right above this, this, uh, this nut and we're gonna, we're gonna lock it all the way down under there and then that'll lock these two points together and then when you disconnect, it'll extend uh, within, this, within this housing here. Obviously, uh, Apex gives you blue Loctite. Um, yeah, it looks like a disposable one. I actually have blue Loctite already opened. And I'll use this one. And we'll blue Loctite it. Screw it in place. Bring down this snap ring. Snap ring is 
locked in and there's very, very little movement in there. Uh, so that's set to where we need it. And then here's gonna be your top point. Let's go put this thing on and then we'll knock out the other side and uh, take it for a spin. I'll show you how it works. The auto links are side specific and the reason why is because at least in the directions, they state that they want these bushings, the, the, the mounting bushing on the top to be towards the rear lined up with uh, your lock. So um, one, one's oriented the opposite direction, so left side and right side. Um, the one we were working on earlier was right side, so switched out, did left side on this one. And then um, they have um, locking nuts and washers and then basically you mount them up and if you don't have clearance uh, between your sway bar and this, it basically suggests that you change the washer from the outside with the, with the nut to the inside uh, to give it that extra, that extra room. So we'll go ahead and mount this guy up. Pretty straightforward mount. Uh, it does use a six millimeter uh, Allen key as well. And that's what you're gonna do to isolate this this um, actual bolt from spinning as you tighten the um, the nut itself. Well, it does look like we have plenty of clearance. Go ahead and put this guy on. All right, now we have the auto links in place. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall the uh, factory bolt and the flag nut. We'll torque this stuff down and then work on the other side and that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and torque this guy down to 75 foot-pounds. And then uh, we'll go ahead and tighten up uh, the other side to close to 75 as we can get it. Um, and then we're going to make sure that this is actually um, still torqued to about 20 foot-pounds as well. And do the other side. We got this guy mounted up. We'll let him uh, torque this guy down to 75 foot pounds. Looks good. All right, there's no movement. Um, that should be about it. Let's go do a loop. Alright guys, the flex was in the video, 
I was really happy with it. The sway bar didn't move at all. Not that that's a big deal, but the sway bar wasn't moving. You can see that those uh, auto links were flexing without any limitation or any resistance. So I was happy to see that. Uh, it was just some little off, a light off-roading, so there wasn't anything crazy, but these things will extend pretty far. Um, I really prefer these over a quick disconnect. Uh, those usually have washers and pins that you have to pull and retain and then pin up to the top of your wheel well I've had experience with those not that they're an issue But they're just a lot slower uh, and a lot more messy too because you have to lubricate those things from time to time And they get the dirt all stuck to them And then you got all that stuff stuck on your hands trying to get back in your vehicle and you're getting it all over the place uh, So cleaner more efficient faster. Hopefully they'll last the test of time. I was really happy with them It's a four bolt install and you're done. So uh, if you're looking for any more information on these auto links if you have any questions of this video or anything that I can fill in the blank for you be sure to drop the comment in the box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time